Good morning from New Jersey. My last morning in New Jersey. My property, my property. I want a romantic call. I'm talking to my baby down on me. Hello, 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 hello. This is my last morning in New Jersey. There's something really nice about doing coffee talk outside too. I've really enjoyed that. Um, I hope the live notifications are working this Monday morning. Um, good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. For those of you that are here for the first time, we're so happy to have you. My whisker and I are happy to have you. Um, so, it is officially Libra season, folks. Yesterday started Libra season for all my Libras. This is our season. Um, I, um, so the wedding was beautiful. My new sister-in-law's family did an amazing, amazing job. I don't know if you saw in those pictures, but um, Jillian, my sister-in-law, had a picture of my dad put on my brother's boutonniere, and it was just such a beautiful gesture for my brother to have my dad, you know, there. Um, so nice. Um, really amazing to see our baby brother become a man, and like, become somebody's husband, listening to the vows that he wrote for his bride. I, I'm so proud of him and them, and I love Jillian so much. I always wondered how, um, how would David ever find a woman that all three of his sisters really like? I mean, that is hard. We are a tough crowd, but he did it. He did it. This is the only girl that David has ever dated that all three of his sisters and his mother have loved. Um, we love Jillian. She loves my brother. It's so nice to see. Listen, I'm not really jaded. I joke that I'm a little jaded, but um, you know, I love love. I think love is dope. I think marriage, when it works, is amazing. And I'm super happy for them. They're going to Hawaii for their um, honeymoon, which is very exciting. Um, and I wanted to just tell you guys a story. So, like about a, two months ago, um, when I was working with Stu, I was in New Jersey, and we invited David and Jillian to come to dinner and meet Stu. And meet Stu. Now, Stu knew David when David was a baby, but David hasn't seen Stu in years since my dad died. David was 10. So we all reconnect. I hear little feet. Yep, I hear little feet. Um, we all reconnect, and um, long story short, David and Jillian hang out, spend the night with Stu, and David says, I'd really like to invite Stu to the wedding. I'd like as many people who knew Daddy as you know to, to be there, and I think Stu is wonderful. So... You know, Stu um, text messaged me yesterday and said, oh my God, it's 80 miles from my house. I said, it'll be worth it. He was like, it's such a far drive. I said, you have a Lamborghini. Isn't that why you bought that car? So you could drive it? Because I knew he was trying to get out of coming to the wedding, you know? So I said to him, listen, life is only fantastic when you show up. It's up to you. Long story short, he shows up, right? I'm so happy to see him because I have a very special relationship with him, you know? So for me, it really meant a lot to me that he was there. And I know he really showed up for me and that's fine. So he shows up, we go to the actual wedding um, ceremony and then we go to the party, whatever. And 
after a couple of hours and dinner, whatever, he uh, he's like, all right, I got to go. I'm like, okay, I'll walk you out. So, of course, everybody was so happy to see him, by the way. Everybody was so happy to see him. Really is amazing what reconnecting with people from your past who are good. I'm not talking about the people where you, they, were, they was broken and you try to go back and put it back together. It tastes like an old cigarette. Remember what I told you? I'm talking about, like, the good people that you just lose touch with. Anyway, um, as I was walking him out, he said to me, Thank you for making me come. I am so glad I came. This was so good for my soul, Jamie. Being with you, seeing you, being with this family and around these people again is so good for me. I needed this. Thank you for making me come. And thank you for reminding me that life can be amazing when you show up. I say that to you to remind you this. Nine times out of 10, anything you don't feel like doing, but you do anyway, ends up being an amazing, amazing time. Think about how many times you don't really feel like having sex. But your husband or your partner wants to have sex, your wife, whoever, and you go, ugh, I don't really feel like it. But once you're there, you're like, this is amazing. Why didn't I want to do this? Right? Amazing. That's pretty much life. Life. Real talk, a lot of times you don't feel like showing up, but life really, nine times out of ten, life is amazing when you show up. Most of the time you will be thrilled that somebody pulled you out of your comfort zone or that you were brave enough to say, you know what, I'm going to show up because I'm still alive. I want to live while I'm alive. Mama, Seeing my yes I'm nugget. Good, my well, I told you to wait. I told you to wait for the ducks, but, you know, you threw it in. But it's okay. They'll still get it. They'll still get it. Did you love being a flower girl yesterday? You did? Come here. What do you think of your new Aunt Jillian? Do you love her? Mm -hmm. I know you do. Was it, what it was your favorite? Let's see. Let's tell everybody in Coffee Talk. But we didn't get to have the cake. I brought you cake home. Can I have it? What was your favorite part of the wedding? Um, dancing. Dancing? Do you remember what you asked Aunt Meredith? What did you ask Aunt Meredith at the restaurant? When we went out for pizza at Federici's. What did you ask her? Are y'all... Jewish. Are y'all Jewish? Are y'all Jewish people? <laughs> what are Jewish people? I don't know. <laughs> Can I, what religion are you? I still don't know. Yes, you do. America? Well, you are American, but that's your, na that's your nationality. Um, Alabama. That's the state you're from. What's your religion? <laughs> Come here. I'm going to tell you in your ear. <laughs> um, calf. Not calf. <laughs> calf. Girl. Oh, thank you. Catholic. Girl. You are you hungover? <laughs> are you still drunk, girl? Oh, there's there's a bird. Go see if he's gonna eat your bagel. That's a seal. Uh, well, that's a bird. Is it not a bird? Don't correct me. I said what I said. Anyway, I just really, it is so important to me that you guys just remember that, whoa, that Jamie does not know how to prop up the phone. It is just important to me that you guys know and can be assured that life can truly be amazing when you show up. Nine times out of ten when you're there, you'll be so happy that you're there. I know that it's hard to be self-starting and it's hard to step outside your comfort zone and it's hard to motivate sometimes when you're not feeling good about yourself or you're feeling insecure or you're going to be the only one without a date or you don't like the way you look or you don't have anything to wear. But I promise you that in the end, you will never regret living 
while you are alive. Life can be amazing when you show up. Oh man, I'm sleepy. Hold on one second. Charlie, we got a pack nugget. He ate something else. Um, okay, so I um, am going to fly home to New Jersey today, see my dog. I'm so excited to see my dog, get everything washed, get everything unpacked, blah, blah, blah. And then I have to repack as I leave for Los Angeles tomorrow night. Um, and then I'm working in L.A. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I fly back Friday so I can be home in time for soccer. <laughs> Uh, it's never a dull moment, folks. Never a dull moment. Um, we stayed in LBI. We had a great time. So now we're going to go pack and get um, on our way. Okay, baby doll. I told you they would eat it. Um, I love you guys so much today. Enjoy this beautiful Monday. Um, I love you so much. Please share this video. Hit share right there. Somebody needs to hear this. Um, tag somebody. Share it. I love you. Have a great, great day. Hi, Kelsey Ray. What a cute name that is.